you know what I don't enjoy? Verbally explaining to someone how to do something on a computer. My password isn't working. There's something wrong with the program. Your sh broke. Okay, so there should be a password reset button. Eh. Can you email that to me? No. You're on the login login page. It's on the login page. It's on. It's on what? On the QuickBooks login page. I tried to log in. It doesn't work. Yep. We're gonna reset the password. This sending to you now. What? I can't set it. You're gonna have to do it yourself in QuickBooks. Wow. Okay. I never had to do that with desktop. Okay. So are you on the QuickBooks login screen? Yeah. You should see something about resetting your password. Use six or more characters and no spaces. Nope, not that. Forgot your user ID and pat. Have your real live, real live bookkeepers, bookkeeping. Did you know QuickBooks will do your books for you? If you're like me and regularly help your clients, customers, or even family members with this stuff, surely there's a better way, right? Let's find an alternative, shall we? We're gonna start basic and by the end, get to some proper automation. So here are four ways to show a person how to do a thing on a computer. First, stop trying to describe it. When that person calls you, or better yet, before that person can call you, confused and frustrated, send them bullet point instructions. This is better for two reasons. People can follow instructions better visu vi visu visually, visually than they can audially. It's easier for them to see your instructions than it is to listen and simultaneously do it. Second, it's asynchronous. Cool word, means you don't have to do it live. You can send instructions whenever you want to, and they can get to it when they can get to it. Couple tools to make this even better. Something that makes it easy to take good screenshots, and a tool to manage canned text. One I really like is a Chrome extension called Text Blaze. You create canned bits of text, then just type something like forward slash password reset, and it'll populate that whole block of canned text wherever you are in your browser. There are so many ways to make use of that. Just like it's easier for someone to read your instructions, it's even easier if they can see you doing it on screen. Honestly, this is usually even faster than typing out instructions, but I get it, people are uncomfortable with video. I just got out of bed. I don't like the sound of my voice. Well, good news, you don't even need to make any sound. You don't need that face to be on camera. Just record your screen, that's it. Loom's the easiest way to do it. Loom is definitely framed as a way of communicating humanly over video, but you're an accountant, right? Whoa, hey, if you're not ready for that yet, turn off face cam, turn off the mic, simply record your screen. Third, record the steps. What? This is kind of a combination of one and two, and the easiest way to explain it is just to show you. The tool is called Scribe. Share how to in seconds. Automatically generate step-by-step -step guides for any task just by clicking a little recording thing in your Chrome extension. So check this out. Using the example of the QuickBooks password reset, let's go to the QuickBooks login page. I'm gonna click this little guy. Start recording. It's recording. That's it. So I'm gonna come down here to forgot user ID or password. Type your email address in, then click continue. You could keep going. You could jump over to the email, show all the steps. I'm gonna come up here and say stop recording and I'll show you what that looks like. So what did Scribe just do? It just recorded all of those steps with screenshots. So it gave the URL that you're supposed to navigate to. It showed you exactly where to click. Forgot your password, hit the continue button, and you can still tinker with this. So let's say I wanna change what this says up here. On the login page, click the green continue button. And maybe I wanna add just a text step here that says type in your email address. Now you could attach your own screenshot to that if you wanted to, and then all you gotta do is share it. I'm gonna make it so that anybody can open this link. It's kinda like file sharing on your Google Drive or something like that. Come over here, and this is what they can see. Four steps, who it's created by, paid versions, you can even add branding, stuff like that. That is pretty hard to screw up. Now, this can be as many steps as you want it to be. You can tailor what the screenshots look like, the paid version, you can redact sensitive information on the page. It's that easy, scribehow.com. They didn't pay me to say this, it's just really handy. Plays nice on mobile. You can even actually export this stuff to like a PDF. I think that's on the paid plan. Creates a nice looking PDF and you can embed it. So if you've got a knowledge base or on your website, you can embed a scribe. It's like a landscape layout, step-by-step -step thing, shows the screenshots. But imagine like showing a client how to make an IRS payment online. 
that's a thing you could probably put on your website that would be helpful and refer back to a bunch of times. Which leads me to our last tip, build a library. This is the ultimate hack. If you're working in client services, in all likelihood, you get a ton of repeat questions and building your own personal resource library can give you mega leverage. Let's say there's an app you work with a lot, like QuickBooks. What are the 10 most common questions clients send you about QuickBooks? Take an hour, make those 10 explainers, keep those on the shelf, and they're gonna save you a ton of time the next time you get those questions. I can't emphasize enough, how many uses there are for this. Tax payments, how to e-sign a form. Think of the high volume things you do a lot of and build a library around those activities to make you more productive. So there you have it. Stop explaining that crap over the phone. It is the worst possible way you can do it. If you're not proactive though, it's oftentimes what we get sucked into. And if you really start leaning into this stuff, start building up your own little personal explainer arsenal. I'll drop a link to each of the tools discussed below. You know what's even better than a personal arsenal? A shared arsenal. You work with people that do similar stuff to you, man, build a shared library for all that stuff. It'd be absolute gold. So check those tools out. Tell them Jason sent you.